Today, how to remove Citroen C1 windscreen trim. By necessity, this will also include removing the Citroen C1 wiper arm and will allow you to access the Citroen C1 wiper motor, which of course is under here, and also get at the windscreen washer nozzles should you need to service or replace them. First step is to remove the wiper arm. With a three or four millimeter screwdriver, prise up the end cap and lift away. And with a 12 millimeter socket or spanner, remove the nut on the wiper spindle. If you're really lucky, with a waggle of the arm, the arm might just lift straight off the spindle. But the chances are you're gonna need a puller. This is a battery terminal and windscreen arm puller. Fit your puller to the arm, screw down the center shaft, and as you saw then, the arm snapped off its splines. Lift the arm away from the shaft, just move it out of the way slightly. On the curve of the stabilizing bar, lift up and snap off the arm from the ball joint. If you put the wiper arm and blade down on the ground, put it upside down so that the working edge of the blade isn't likely to get damaged. Next, remove the two clips, one at each end of the trim by pressing down on the center piece, and pushing it in about two, maybe three millimeters, and then simply lift it out. Make sure that you've recovered both halves still linked together. The trim is in two pieces split in the middle. And on each piece of trim, there are three captive clips. Lift the front edge very slightly and push on the captive clip to release it from its hole in the uh, panel work. Do that for all six clips. Holding the right hand piece of trim down, just close up to the split, lift the left hand piece so that the two pieces unclip. And pull the left hand piece slightly towards the right and it will lift away. And with your fine nose pliers, squeeze the legs of the seal clips together and release them through their holes to disconnect the seal from the left hand piece of trim. Pull apart the corner joint on the windscreen washer tube, lift the right hand trim above the wiper spindle and bring it in towards the center of the car and both pieces of trim are now free. From this position, you can see the flap that operates the recirculation function. If you need to remove the washer jets, pull the pipe off the back and with your fine earth pliers, squeeze together the two legs and push them through the trim. And they just push fit back in. It will actually go in only one way round, so you can't get it wrong. If you need to remove the wiper mechanism, undo these two screws at each end of the mechanism with your 10 millimeter spanner or socket. Lift the mechanism slightly from both ends. At the right hand end, pull it forwards and up to disengage it from the spigot on the body there. And press this clip on the connector to be able to uh, disconnect. And here's some top tips for putting it all back together again. While you've got access to the wiper mechanism, pop these two ball joints apart, this end and this end. Put a blob of fresh silicone grease on top of the ball before putting it back together. Do the same at both ends. The ball joints simply knock back together. Take the opportunity to give this scuttle cavity a clean out and wipe down with a, a large damp cloth. This panel is directly above the engine and is completely undamped. So engine noise can pass into this space and straight into the cabin through the uh, air intake, which makes it a great place to start if you want to quieten your bug down. I've applied some uh, bitumen heavy layer along the bottom there first, followed by a layer of six millimeter sound absorbing foam. Don't forget to reconnect the harness to the motor and just have a look and inspect the connections, make sure there's no corrosion or other damage. Make sure to put this end of the arm underneath this bracket first and then push onto the spigot. Again, a little silicon sealer on the spigot is useful and drop down and replace the screws with your 10 millimeter socket. On the windscreen edge of the trim, there are clips along here and the windscreen actually fits between this rubber lip and these clips. And there's also a foam strip along here which engages with the bottom of the screen which on ours was seriously degraded, so I'm replacing it. Along with a piece of foam around each end. 
and before putting the trim back in place give the bottom edge of the windscreen a clean along with the rubber flip on the trim. The trim fits back in the exact opposite way to the way it came out making sure to be careful to get the clips along the front edge into the uh, panel. Put the spigot in the fixing so that it sticks up about four or five millimeters like that. Place it in the hole and then push the spigot down level. Don't forget of course to uh, reconnect the washer hose where the two pieces meet in the middle. Make sure to get the clip in the hole and simply push the left hand piece down on top of the right hand piece. Don't forget to clip the seal back into place. Just push the clips in. If by chance you've managed to wreck some of these clips or lost some, they've come out of the seal, you could always get some uh, 3M double sided tape and stick it into place. Before putting the wiper arm back on, put a little silicone grease on the stabilizing arm pivot and also just round the uh, splines. That'll help to keep rust out at bay. Simply press the stabilizing arm back onto its ball joint, put the wiper in the right position, lift the arm slightly and push it down onto the splines and put your nut and cap back on. While you got the trim off of course you could uh, clean it up and paint it. If you found this video useful there's another one on the screen now that I think you'll like and I'll see you next time.